Yeah, good. Is it on? All right, so welcome to the second game of the first day of Men's European Cup 2018. I'm Julia Sleezer. And I'm Coco. And we are about to watch um, Madrid's Mad Riders face off against Helsinki's Coast Quads. So first, let's go through the Helsinki roster. We've got 0 0 Kata. One or sorry, zero one zero no no one 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 Petula, one three Pitkernen, one four Jabba the Hot, two eight Lukanen, three seven Bilbo Blockens, four one Urpo Kukrin, uh, six six seven Kerberos, seven seven Minister of Silly Blocks, seven nine Pulp Friction, eight six Bukaki Randolin, nine Rebel Rasumis, and nine three Juke. And for the Mad Riders, we have zero zero nine Ra. 1-1, one, one, Agisset. 1-1-1, one, 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 Don Rischetto. 2, Lone Wolf. 2-2, two, two, Rashe. Hashe. 2-3-7, Keller Manzano. 4-4, four, four, Cubo. 4-7, four, Silencio. 7, Jaman. Number 8 is Shingami. 83, Anvil. 86, Adrian Bloody. And 8-8 eight, eight is Gizmo. All and right. we are diving straight into the action here. So one jam out of the way, Juke had lead jammer. Two points picked up for Mad Riders and one point picked up for Helsinki, even though the lead was to them, but called off in time to uh, stop any excess points coming out. So right now, one to two in favor of the Mad Riders. And it looks like it's gonna be quite an even game just if we go off that first jam, I reckon. Uh, we are trying to see who Good. we have up to jam. Pitkanen out for Helsinki and a mystery jammer out for Mad Riders. It's that quite difficult to see the green against the grey. Oh, sorry, no, I'm looking at the wrong one now. So that is Pitkanen and, and Silencio. All right, we are um, at turn four is where we're positioned for the record. So it's not just I need to update my glasses prescription, though it is advisable. <laughs> Both jammers having awful trouble with those uh, strong walls. But uh, Kenan nearly through, doesn't quite make it, gets swallowed back up behind a three brace of Mad Riders. Still at the top of the pack though, Silencio mowing through. Looks like, oh, one big hit at the top of the pack. It's also going to be sent out as I believe a low block. Not lead, but through first. Lead is declared to Buchanan, who goes ahead and calls it off as Silencio was in front of him and about to meet the back of the pack. A 0-0 zero, zero jam. Very smart calling there. As soon as you hear those double whistles, straight call off. Yeah, it's the way to do it. <laughs> Very much so. And uh, the hole seems to be filling up quite nicely today. Yeah, no, it's good. For an uh, early 10 a.m. start. We've been here since 8. Yeah. <laughs> All right, there's an official timeout being called. Oh, we have something going on in the Sisu penalty box. All right. I think it's some spilled water. Ah. No blood this time. Good. <laughs> Always know. a good thing. Yeah, it's Always a good thing. <laughs> And if you just joining us, um, we had an excellent game this morning with Go Gothenburg Salty Seamen versus Glasgow Men's Roller Derby, with uh, Glasgow taking the win with about a 200 point lead. Nice. It's quite an interesting watch. So, can't wait to see what happens for the rest of the tournament for both of those. Certainly. All right, we are about to get the action back underway. Got that five seconds call. One blocker from each team currently in the penalty box. And up for Mad Riders to jump, we have Gizmo. Here's Kerberos from Helsinki, but it is gonna be Gizmo taking lead. And Cobra is fighting to get out that front with the star off. Uh, we're down to two blockers for the Helsinki team, although they are absolutely giving a hard time to Gizmo. Cobra trying to come back in once again. Not, sh 
Yeah, okay. Now he's just got stashed in hand. He is now through. Five points have been picked up already by Gizmo in that first pass through. Coming in for a second pass now. Finding an open inside, calling it off backwards. That was a wonderful call off for those two points. So seven point jam, bringing, um, bringing him up to nine. Got that replay going. And up on the replay here, we have the Helsinki Jammer versus Mad Riders, just to show that Lee Jammer as it was called. Right. So I think we're on an official review for Helsinki. It looks that way, doesn't it? It does. I'm going to say yes. As always, we'd like to thank our officials today for our skating officials. We've got Sven Will, be fa oh. yeah. Sven Will I Be Famous, Scabarella, Roland Rat, Judge Red, Glenn Mor More Angry, Fair Enough, Victoria Velociraptor, and McFarlane. And they are going to be with us all weekend. It's a very, very long day for everyone involved, not just the skaters. <laughs> As I can also have time to probably go through the non-skating officials for this game are Domination, Meaner Harker, Purple Pain, Iceman, Comic Sans MS, Speedy Convalis, uh, Hurt Ratio Nelson, Puppy Shredder, and Law Have Mercy. And headed up by Halo Jones, Lens and Needles. So for the official reviews, we don't have the ref mics today, so we need to wait for the information to be conveyed to us. So it will be a little bit of a pause before we can share with you yes. what's been going on while a, a, an alt ref runs over to us to let us know. And looks like some they have made a decision which they are just passing on to the captains and alts right now oh and here we come with some paperwork <laughs> there is a lot of explaining going on from sven right now So it looks like the captains and adults have returned to their bench and we will be resuming play very shortly. There we go, that wonderful rolling whistle. So that was a cut call being issued to the Mad Riders uh, jammer. So he seems sitting in the box so the official re or, uh, so the uh, review was successful and retained as it were. So it's going to be a power jam and a lead jammer for Juke. Number 44, uh, Kubo, absolutely ready for Juke to come in, following him out of the pack. Juke coming through, that is five points. Well, we still have them. Rejoining the game is Gizmo, the jammer for Mad Riders. So it's a four, or sorry, another five point pass for Helsinki is going to do a lead change. Oh, and unfortunately, that little apex jump earned, Duke, earned Gizmo another trip to the box. So Duke will continue on with this power jam. And let's just see how many points they can rack up. Got the three wall up front. Duke coming in, a little bit of a stumble. Gets back up and just finds an open outside. That is another five point pass. This is currently a 20 point jam for Helsinki. Calls it off 21 to nine after all that business is said and done. And they've frozen Gizmo in the box once again. So no doubt they can. So this replay is, is the apex jump on Gizmo um, and being given the cut. Yeah. So we're just waiting to see how um, Helsinki will capitalize on this power jam start. 
Well, step one, send out Buchanan. <laughs> uh, but Buchanan oh. picking up a track uh, is going to head off to the box. Gizmo is already back in, so it will be the full penalty as he has a seat. Uh, lead still open, and Gizmo, you know, having started in the box, is eligible for it. Yeah. Has gained it, has the power jam, and so we may see a little reversal of what we saw last jam. It was very smart of Gizmo to leave the star cover on. Um, what you normally will see sometimes is that they'll, the jammer in the box will take it off. Um, if they hadn't done, they wouldn't have got lead. Right. So it'll be interesting now to see whether or not um, Gizmo will run this long. Um, well I guess it depends on his blockers, really, doesn't it? Definitely. Gizmo coming back in, a little pop out to the outside. He's going to recycle oh back behind 1111 one, one, one. Peltola. Taking his time of it back to the box. On a track again. <laughs> yes. So it's like. So that's two each for both. Yeah, Gizmo four jam penalty, jammer penalties in two jams. <laughs> two each between the teams. So. Well, that is a very long run back on Gizmo there. Gizmo coming through now. Less resistance this time, a five point pass. Just thinking about calling it freezing, but going in, in the box. Uh, oh, it looks like they're gonna keep running. Maybe they're hoping for another penalty. Yeah, I mean, a third jammer penalty in the last two jams for Gizmo, so. Oh dear. Well really early in the game to have accrued so many between either of the teams to be honest but things happen it's all good jam is finished that was a no pass in total for Helsinki a 10 point jam for Mad Riders 21 to 19 we did not see a lead change but <laughs> very close to it yeah they did pull that back quite a lot I the earlier prediction of a, a very close game is uh, ringing true right now Timeout is being called by Mad Riders. I think they'll just uh, get a bench coach to tell them to keep their heads, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we have uh, quite a few European teams with us uh, this weekend. Um, what generally tends to happen is they, they run a little bit short on rosters um, sometimes. Right? I think we have a shorter roster for Mad Riders. Um, but it looks like Helsinki actually have a full 20. Uh, yeah, I guess they've just got, they've got 13 and they're playing 13 for Mad Riders. Yeah. So. Give it everything. How's that? Giving yeah. Giving it everything, just everybody, yeah. everybody out. Sometimes that's how it goes. Well, at least you know you get on every <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, I've been to plenty of tournaments <laughs> where, like, more than one team had, like, eight. So if you yeah. got 13, I think you're doing great. That's fine. You're doing totally a super fine. good job. <laughs> yeah. So up next we have 93, which is Duke for the next jam, starting on a power jam. Started off with that brace up front, mowing right through it. Juke takes lead. The three brace up front, brought to you by Mad Riders, is reformed, ready for entry. His team sets up like an old school sweep, but does not take any action. Just lets him come in and try to plow through. He does get knocked out, takes himself back, and then does a great job of getting himself through. That's some amazing counter blocking uh, so far this weekend. It's uh, basically like rocks hitting walls. Uh. <laughs> and it looks like Gizmo has made their initial pass. But of course, Duke calls it. <laughs> Jammer awareness. That was a four point pass there, a nine point total jam for Helsinki, 30 to 19. 21 and a half minutes left in the half. It's quite interesting to watch uh, the games so early on in the tournament, um, just to see 
who they put out, obviously, well, in, the, in this case, is everybody. <laughs> right. But um, <laughs> how they play in these first few jams um, as to how the weekend might pan out. Um, but up for Mad Riders, we have Lone Wolf jamming. Uh, it seems to be struggling at the back there. <laughs> yeah. Kerberos for Helsinki. That Mad Riders blocking pack is absolutely decimating. It's going to be Lone Wolf taking lead for Mad Riders. Team hasn't gone much past the pivot line now, turning around to turn one. Star in hand, Kerberos is through having completed his initial. Lone Wolf trying to punch a hole in the back, gets through most of the way. Yeah, that's a three points. Just, I think he uh, missed passing Erpo Kukkonen. Uh, so yeah, a three point jam to the Mad Riders. Mm. Slow and steady, except for when it's power jam. <laughs> right. <laughs> but uh, they have, they ha uh, jams have been very small passes generally um, when both jammers have been on the track. Pickin and Killer out. Killer Manzano, yeah. uh, who just sneaks around and out for your lead jammer. It's true. Once again, star in hand. It's going to be uh, Pickin and coming out. Got quite a ways to go, but he's really blasting along. Killer Manzano is going to call it off before he can reach the back of the pack, having picked up two more points for Mad Riders. He took an amazing hit from the butt from Ra uh, and just spun him out on that bottom corner. Oh, I thought they were actually starting on the pivot line there. Sometimes they do, sometimes <laughs> they do not. It's gonna be oh, absolutely oh, yeah. beautiful. Oh. But unfortunately, it but was not in. <laughs> oh, so Juke was declared lead, and then they were like, no, hold up, you cut the track. Yeah. They switched it. Silencio is lead. Ooh. Oh, it's some absolutely stunning footwork there to stay in on that outside line. Got some Matrix-style stuff going on <laughs> there. And... That's absolutely fantastic jammer awareness to, as you're passing a blocker, to realize that they've gone off track. Like, as you've been massively hit off, you generally don't know where it's come from. Um, we're just having the replay of the cut track as both of the jammers left the pack. Oh, there we go. The beautiful footwork, but yeah. it was given straight away. have a lead change we did so we are 30 to 33 now in favor of madrid and it is going to be a power start here um we i'm trying to work out who i have it is lone wolf but Duke is now out of the box and oh. does have lead followed out by 009 uh raw the pivot from mad riders is there anything more beautiful but than being given Lee Jammer from the box? Right. <laughs> Some lovely bean dips, getting those five points for Helsinki. As at the moment, it seems Mad Rider are scrabbling to get their Jammer out. Five point pass, Juke calling it off. Lee Chain again with that 10 point total jam for Helsinki's Coast Quads. Do you think anybody's going to be playing the Lee Change drinking game at 10 a.m.? Yes, somebody somewhere. Somebody somewhere. I mean, it's <laughs> not 10 a.m. everywhere. Well, that's true. That's true. Trying to think where it's a more appropriate time. <laughs> I'm like, it's like 5 a.m. in the U.S. <laughs> seems worse. <laughs> well, maybe <laughs> you just haven't you stopped just drinking. Yeah. 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 
Uh, for my runners, we have Killer Manzano, who has just been given your lead jammer status. Uh, uh, I am trying to find Pink Cannon, but I think I can't. Uh, there they are. They were hiding that star from me. Yeah, they. It's lead declared. Snap that star off with some immediacy. Get through the pack. Reach on it. Coming in. Nothing that time. Picked up by Helsinki. And it was five points picked up by the Mad Riders. 40 to 38. We keep seeing these dueling lead changes. We're almost there once again. I did like the, um, the fingers that our jammer ref just gave. Like a dinosaur for five. Get all of the uh, different variations of the five points in before they go. Uh, oh. <laughs> Don't take away our thumbs. So up next we have Silencio jamming from Mad Riders. Kerberos for Helsinki. Oh, and that was a sneaky little comeback in to be declared lead for Silencio. Snapped it off. Where are we going? It seems that um, Mad Riders are very highly trained in snapping that star off. It's actually the coast quads. Oh, is it? I'm getting confused with the colors here. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> no. Well, yeah, everything's fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're like Pavlov Pavlov's dogs kind of effect. You hear double whistles and it snaps the, right. the star cover off. Which can be problematic sometimes. So far, it's it's been fine. They paused long enough. So that was a 10-point jam for Mad Riders. We do now have that lead change, 40 to 48. We are under 15 minutes in this half. This is very, very exciting. I think you might not be able to hear it in our voices, but it's still being this so This is what I sound like. <laughs> I am actually really excited, but this is what I sound like. <laughs> Juke facing off against Lone Wolf. Juke recycling back Lone Wolf. And Juke has been an excellent jammer so far throughout this game. Again, being given lead. Oh, sorry. Earlier I said we were at turn four. We're at turn two. Okay. <laughs> I was like, it's hard to see. Nope. It's okay. I'll forgive yeah. you. Okay, like, good. if you forgive me for getting the wrong color. If we were at turn four, we should be able to see them perfectly is the thing. Yeah, we're not. So, <laughs> Juke coming in. Second scoring pass is underway. He's being headed off by Shinigami. He does make it through. That was a four-point pass there. In the back, just doing an excellent job of holding this jammer back is number 41, Urpo Kukkonen. Kara giving a nice little nod to uh, the referee for the penalty they've just been given. This is very respectful. This is the fourth scoring pass through for Juke. He's going to pick up a track cut, however, and head off to the box. It is the full two-minute jam. We've got oh. about 40 seconds left. And I uh, believe that Lone Wolf's still on their initial pass. Yes. So th I think they're going to try and make the most just to get some points before yeah. this uh, this jam does get called. A little bit worn down. The pack is stopped between three and four. And speed up as the jammer comes back in. Juke is standing in the box. The pack comes right in front of him. Maybe an easy drop-off point, yeah, as, as his penalty ends. Comes back into play. Theoretically, finishing his pass if he had not already and picking up those points. So that is a four-point pass for Mad Riders, a 19-point jam. And another lead change. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we might just, like, should we make up another word for lead yeah. change? What's we'll a faster way to say this? Lange. <laughs> That was Helsinki's highest scoring jam at 19 points. Really well done. So 59 to 52 as we go into jam 14. It is going to be Pitgenen picking up a track cut. Lead is going to Killer Manzano. 
So that was a 19-point jam for Duke, uh. even though he still went to the box as well yeah. in the previous jam. That's quite amazing. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Uh, smart calling there. Going to start it on a power jam. So is Piquen the not even standing? Yeah, he's only been in a few seconds, so they're going to have, you know, 10 plus seconds power start this time, a little more time than the previous power starts we've seen in mm. this game. Maybe he's a little embarrassed, keeps covering his face. <laughs> it might be a little bit dusty. <laughs> I don't know. Usually <laughs> my friends that have done the little bandit mask are saying it's because it's dusty, but... I don't know. Their the floor looks rather shiny. I know. it's Everything is so shiny in here. The referee's just having a, a little natter. Um. <laughs> it's actually a team timeout for the Mad Riders, so it's going to be a little natter, in fact. Yeah. Tiny, tiny natter. The tiny 30-second natter. natter. I've never got to say natter before. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds funny when I say it. <laughs> well, I like having just uh, come back to my parents' house, uh, my Geordie is, is coming out quite a lot. It. I know it. <laughs> no, I forget that you're Geordie until we get anywhere near Newcastle, and then suddenly you're like, Geordie. <laughs> well, in case anybody doesn't realize, both Sleezer and I are the Nottingham contingent of announcers <laughs> this weekend, <laughs> but neither of us are actually from Nottingham. I am not. <laughs> really? It's true. <laughs> Are we having a timeout for Helsinki as well? Did we just do back to back? Oh, oh, I no, no, we're I'm good. So I th okay, I think they accidentally said it was a Mad Riders, but in fact it was a Helsinki, and it's still blinky. Everything's gonna be fine. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. There's everything's fine. And that was an absolute power out for Gizmo, aided by his blockers. Beginning now, standing in the box. As Gizmo comes through on his first scoring pass, just flies right through the pack. No resistance at all. A five-point pass. Star off, but Gannon is back in and uh, taking names. Yeah, there's bodies flying. Somebody's kneecap is on the floor. This is just, it's carnage. It's pure carnage. Right. Oh. And will we see if any points got picked up there by Buchanan? Oh, and it looks like Ratty is actually giving a low block penalty for the contact from Buchanan at the end of that jam as he did the apex jump. Hmm. It was just a tiny little apex jump, but he caught the foot of one of the Mad Riders. Um, so we'll be now sitting 30 seconds in the box. All right. Well, it looks like they're potentially going to contest that. There's yep. an official review come up yep. on behalf of Helsinki. And if I had to speculate wildly, it wouldn't be very wild at all. I would say that they were contesting that. I, I can yeah. assume. Yeah. Yes. But we're allowed to do that on the stream. They can't They, they, they can't speculate when in, in Oh, house. you can. Yeah, yeah, speculate. <laughs> you can. <laughs> but, yeah, I used to speculate things like, you know, <laughs> just talking about what pizza they're getting after the game. You know, oh. official review to see if you want to hang out later. Yeah, yeah. Were well, you gonna get turkey and pineapple again? That's dis no, I didn't <laughs> get that. That's <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> I was just looking down the pizza choices because there's like 500 different pizzas you could get from this place, and one of them was Hawaiian, but it was turkey and pineapple. And I don't know. I've only been in Britain for like a minute. But is it not ham and pineapple? Do you know where turkeys probably aren't, if I had to guess? Hawaii. Yeah. Oh, I don't I know, though. Yeah. Th Maybe they're all over the place in Hawaii. <laughs> you know, the thing is, our producer turkeys. appears to be swearing at me. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not great at reading lips. <laughs> so, but like... Well, uh, turkey is a North American bird. Yeah. Don't know where you guys got it in the first place. Stole them. Our production has told me <laughs> that there are stolen turkeys in this country. It's not stolen valor anymore. It's stolen <laughs> turkeys. <laughs> I earned this medal. You appropriated them. <laughs> Fine. Yeah. 
Uh, we probably did first. Oh, wait, it was you that was over in the... Oh, whoa, full circle. <laughs> Mind blown. <laughs> Learning history and made up history and... Hey, we're just getting a wave over here. <laughs> Hello. Oh, and we are ha Hello. being brought the results of the official review. You were correct, Lisa. They were contesting that low block. And? Well, as Pitkinnon still sat in the box. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I didn't want to leave anybody <laughs> hanging here. No. Well, Pitkinnon, uh, the low block will stand. Yeah. They were like, hey, we don't think that low block happened. And Raddy went, yeah, but it did. <laughs> well, if anybody's going to know if a low block happened, it's uh, someone that's lower to the ground. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we love Ratty. Do we? I love Ratty. I enjoy him quite a lot. He's an amazing jammer ref. I've known him for quite a while. I've just met him recently. Yes. But I've, I'll agree with your assessment. Well, we since spent time together in Aberdeen, didn't we? Yeah, well, I met him in um, Our Coronia at the playoffs. Ah. Where his lovely wife Cherry was announcing, as was I. Silencio has lead for Mad Riders. But Gannon is still seated in the box for that low block call that was contested. You guys remember just like one minute ago when we was telling you. Oh, S absolutely lovely. Duck yeah, it's really to get nicely those. through. Silencio is very agile and fluid, so he seems to manage to get his body in the right position for the right place to get through. There we are on one foot. Backwards out of the pack, picking up all five points. I just there has been a star pass that's going to go to Bilbo Blockins, Coco. Ooh. See, we... I didn't even see that one. I love it when... It was, the yeah, it was a sneaky, sneaky one. I love sneaky star a passes. A sassy star passy, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to use that from now on. <laughs> Courtesy of Bear. Oh, it's a bear. That's off it's a bear it's a meme. Is it a bearism? It's a bear meme, yeah. Well, we all got given bear memes last I night. I got a bear meme poster. <laughs> Mine includes a picture that I love slash hate. <laughs> yeah, we should post these later on the actual event page. We should. Mine's back yeah. at the house. <laughs> anyway. Uh. Juke is out for Helsinki. It's Killer Manzano with lead from Mad Riders. It has been really a Mad Rider dominated last couple of jams. It They've has. really like woken up and said, you know what? No. I want these points. And uh, I you know, they're pulling away. We had been seeing these like lead change, lead change, lead change, mm. lead change, lead change. Somebody somewhere died of alcohol poisoning and now they've kind of chilled out on that. <laughs> you know. Well, I think uh, the penalties on Pitkin and didn't help no. uh, Helsinki any. They never do. Well, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I think Mad Rod is definitely capitali capitalized on it. We'll see whether or not they can uh, Helsinki can answer it. 64 to 78, seven and a half minutes left in this half. Uh, we have one of the Mad Riders being waved away from the track because there was too many blockers. Um, we've got Kerberos Ooh. versus Lone Wolf. Ooh. Lone Wolf, beautiful footwork to be given the lead jammer status. I am enjoying how respectful the, uh, the teams on track are being to our referees today. Quite enjoying it. I'm always happy at that. And then we're deciding when they're going to call it. Oh, oh, we shall see what the jammer ref throws up. Oh, they both take away four points in that ja in that pass. So unfortunately, it wasn't a quick enough call. A nine-point jam for Mad Riders there. Four points. That time for Helsinki, 68 to 87. We were so close mm. to having a taco cat, but you won't see that. Oh. Not this time. No. No. No taco cats. Have it could still happen. <laughs> I'm not going to let my dreams die here. Well, we've got so many games, so many possibilities. 
We have Duke up to jam for Helsinki. And he is it's not lead. But yeah, hmm. no pass, no penalty is gonna leave lead open for Gizmo, who's picking it up. Juke is in just like wholly aware of the situation. Juke just lobs himself through the pack. Got through just fine. Four points picked up already. Gizmo is now in, calling it from the center of the pack. Ooh. Let's see how many points he picks up. There's three points for Mad Riders. One more point for uh, Coast Quads. And so it's going to be five to three, 73 to 90 overall. Mad Riders still in the lead. And that is amazing work from Duke to realize that not lead, but still come away with more points in that. We were going to have an instant yeah. replay, but it wasn't an instant replay though. That was strange, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. a live replay. It was live. Okay. Yeah. No, I was like, are you just replaying them hanging out? Oh, Silencio flying through that pack to be gain lead jammer status. Technology, though. Am I right? Well, we do have some fancy equipment. It is really oh fancy. Oh dear. Sorry, Pit uh, Cannon. That is, he's, I, I'm not sure how many penalties he's had, but he's got to be like four or five at this point, isn't it? I would have thought, yeah. See if we can come back after the half with a little bit of uh, statistics. Yes. Well, I think uh, from an outside point of view, Pit Cannon seems like they are rushing, um, which is why they've been given these penalties, cut track penalties, going in very forceful, very right. rushed. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I, was, I don't know what happens in people's brains. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> well perhaps. if we knew that. Well, when Juke, so when Juke came through, he did not have lead, and then Gosmo had lead. This is like one jam back. You knew that Juke was blasting through that pack and kind of like ah, gotta yes. get these points, panic. Yes. And so I'm like, yeah, but it could just be like a matter of not quite gauging your opponent as well. It's causing uh, penalties inadvertently. Regardless, uh, Pitkanen in the past, you know, has proven himself to be an amazing jammer, and so he's got the skills. Of he's course. He's just got to stay out of the box. Yeah. Sometimes that's all it takes is, is, is a head game. Um, oh, yeah, jammer switch. True. Jammer switch. Pitkanen out uh, on his initial. Killer Manzano. Switching off in the box, so this is going to be the end of the initial uh, no pass, uh, no penalty, I suppose, once again has yep. happened. And so there will be no lead in this jam. 120 left of it. So I'm going to imagine that this is the penultimate jam of this half. Coming through, that is five points on the first pass. Mm. Looks like there has been quite a lot of penalty trouble uh, in the past couple of jams. I think uh, someone will get talking to from coaches at half time <laughs> well, have a little chat <laughs> we call it a come to jesus <laughs> where i'm from oh well, well oh somebody's toe stop is just not where it's supposed to be that, at all. that is that is all over the shop some volunteer hopefully will see that and take it away well it seems like the uh nsos have noticed oh god i thought pickenham was gonna hit it i thought he was too <laughs> It's all oh, right. There Yoshi's we go. got Yoshi's it. Yoshi's got it. Because I was like, oh, please see it. That would be so horrible to fall on. But I wonder who's lost it, though. Because if I'd lost a toe stop, I would not be able to skate right now. Yeah, I'm like, oh, we'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> and we have... Pekianen is going around the track as part of a power jam. Um... Keeping an eye out. There we go. Jam is called with the Mad Riders jam at stood. So yeah, I never figured out who toe stop that was. I think we would. If I would have lost it, it would have just been like me all falling everywhere. <laughs> yeah, just like oh no. <laughs> that 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 would have been me. But yeah, no, I just kind of hang out on my toe stops all the they, time. Anyway, yeah. they have they have they're too skilled. Two skills. No, yeah. Uh, we have Duke up to take this power jam start. There we go. Lead acquired. I'm imagining this to be the last jam of this half, so we could see one more lead change if things oh. go 
No. Well for Juke, that is a five point pass coming through right at the century mark. I am. Um, oh, we have two centuries. I wanted to slap the century mark and you. Oh, I didn't know this. I'm, oh, I'm, we a, get two I'm of them. a baby announcer. There you go. Oh, all right. No, it's I've recently learned this from the British ones. Oh, yeah. No one's taught me. You get a high five at the hundred points. Ah, it's so nice. We get yeah, it's a free high, high five. Fives. Yeah. Slapping the century mark. I am. Um, Completely in awe of Duke in this this game no, so he's far. Doing great. Oh, look at that! Absolutely fantastic work. When you think you couldn't love him more, but you can. Well, you know, clearly heard I was talking about him. That's yeah. what it was. Just wanted to show it's off. Like, you think that's cool? Check this out. I can levitate. <laughs> <laughs> it just looks like you're going for a walk in the park. Right? You know. Yeah, he's like do 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 do. Jumped like a quarter of the track. No biggie. No, it's fine. So we do have that lead change All right now, a 23-point jam. The period clock is expired, so we're going to go into half. 120 for Helsinki Coast Quads, 107 for Madrid's Mad Riders. And we have a replay of this apex jump. Yay! It didn't even look that that full, but when you're being attacked by four blockers on that right. apex. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's really well done. So... Well, we've got about 14 minutes yes. to uh, go uh, do what you will. Yeah. If, so. if you're at home, stick a cupper on. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah. We'll have be here when you get back. a natter, as it were. You could have a natter. <laughs> <laughs> have a natter with your cats. I would. <laughs> natter with your catter. Am I right? Natter with your catter. Yeah, on that. So we'll see you back in about uh, 14 minutes. Yes. See you then.